Good morning, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Recipe Tuesday. Um, I'm going to go a different direction completely on a recipe this time. This is left over from um, on, on what was left on one of the comments, um, you know, of what you guys would like to see as a recipe. So I kind of like the way this one sounded, so I'm going to go ahead and mention it. The recipe is for egg rolls. And what you're going to need to make this recipe, and it's really not all that hard, and it's not really all that many ingredients, um, I would be willing to try this, and it sounds uh, fairly easy to make. So what you're going to need is a pound of lean ground beef, one package of shredded cabbage, or one small head of cabbage, one medium onion, a half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper. This is where I have a disconnect. I'm not sure where this would come in. Two tablespoons of sugar. I'm not really sure how that plays into the recipe. Quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. Do you have to use garlic salt necessarily? No. I don't see why you couldn't just use garlic powder instead because you've already got salt in there. Um, and then you're going to need one quarter cup soy sauce. Soy sauce, soy sauce itself has salt in it. So that's a double shot of salt pretty much over and above the garlic salt. So I don't see really where you have to use garlic salt. Just I would use the garlic powder, but I guess it all depends on your taste and how salty you like your food. And then you're going to need two packages of egg roll skins. What you're going to do is you're going to put the cabbage and onion in a large bowl. Then you're going to brown the ground beef and then stir in the remaining ingredients, except the skins, the egg roll skins. Add mixture to cabbage and onion. Stir well. Put filling in each wrapper. Deep fry until golden brown. Do not use high heat. The skins will burn if you do. Oil should be 375 degrees. Helpful hint. When wrapping shells, have a slightly beaten egg white. To use to dab on the corner of the egg roll skin to help seal the egg roll when you fold it over. Um, make sure egg roll skins are at room temperature when you go to use it. Now, I've never made egg rolls before. The only thing that I myself am familiar with, only because my mom many, many moons ago, made them, uh, is something called lumpia, L-U-M-P-I-A. And if you think about it, all of your Asian Oriental foods, Thai, Japanese, Chinese, um, Filipino even, and I'm, I might be leaving out one or two, um, they're all basically the same foods. The only difference is, I think, is the way it's prepared and maybe some seasonings or spices that are involved. But all in all, basically what it boils down to is it's all really the same food, just very different. But the only thing I'm familiar with is something called a lumpia. Now, what I will say about the egg roll if you don't want to use ground beef, you could. I'm sure you could get chicken or chicken breast and put that in it. If you didn't want to go that route, you could easily buy some type of pork and saute it a little bit in the skillet. You know, take it out and then cut it up. You could do that. Um, I don't see where 
what I just read off to you is carved in stone because it really is a blank canvas. If you stop and think about basically what an egg roll is, for the most part, you have different variations of it. Pork egg roll, shrimp egg roll. I know some people don't care for the shrimp. Um, vegetable egg rolls. You've got different ways of doing it. So this is not a set way. You can use the other meats that I called out. You may even be able to use some chopped up turkey in it. I would be willing to try that considering that turkey is my favorite cut of poultry if I had to pick from all the poultries that you can use. But this recipe sounds pretty good. Um, if you're willing to try this recipe out, that would be great. Um, if you want to leave me some feedback or comment or let me know um, how it is, or if you have currently made egg rolls, um, give me or tell me a little feedback about it, if you would like. I wouldn't mind hearing um, what you have to say about it. So anyway, that was my recipe choice for this week. I hope you guys like it. It caught my interest. Um, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in this Tuesday morning, and I will see you guys back here again on Thursday. Have a good one. Bye.